Hey YouTubers, welcome back. It's Mac User to another screencast, and today we're going to deal with uh, reducing the size of a PDF using Preview. So if you've got a document that you've uh, created, or there is a, um, a document you've scanned in, uh, it does come in quite a high resolution depending on your settings. And what we're going to do is go through that process of how to actually reduce the uh, size of that PDF so that it, it can be emailed, but also that it can actually be viewed and actually printed off. Because uh, if you just use the default setting within Preview, you might find that the actual PDF is a bit reduced um, and it's not very great for actually um, previewing or even printing off. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Preview. Uh, I'm using Sierra uh, for this version, uh, and then I'm just going to import from my um, uh, brother printer that's a document feeder, and then obviously the scanner will come up, and then I click on my document feeder, and then I just start the process of obviously scanning in the PDF. And I think there's about 12 page document that I'm going to scan in, in here. And then it just goes through the process of obviously scanning um, the document. And I'm just using the default settings on my on my scanner. I'm not actually changing any settings on it. I think it's set to quite high resolution, so it's about 150 DPI, might be even higher. Uh, and then as it obviously scans, it obviously creates uh, the preview of the imagery, and it just keeps adding them to the document in preview. So let's just uh, fast forward that now. I'm sure you don't want to see uh, a document being scanned 12, 12 pages. So let's just uh, fast forward this and move on to the next uh, part of the screencast. OK, so the PDF is done. Uh, it's been scanned. So I've got all the documents scanned and they're obviously in the preview window. And it still hasn't been saved, so it's, it's still an untitled document. So all I do is I select all the documents together, click File, and then I'm just going to export as a PDF. And then name it something logical. So come up with the actual uh, document. And I've created that PDF and it obviously exports and creates the PDF of what I've just scanned. So that's that process there. And, and there are obviously other ways that you can do that, but this is just the way that I do it. And then I close that down, close down the actual um, uh, software program for the preview of the scanner. And there I've got my document. And if I press command and I it highlights how big the file is and as you can see it's quite a large file you would not be able to email that out to anybody but it is scanned at a high resolution so it, it would print off quite happily um, locally so I've got the file I'm going to duplicate the file so I'm going to work on the, a duplication so you just press command and D and that duplicates the file and then if you actually press enter on that new file uh, that you've highlighted that thumbnail, it actually comes up with the facility then to rename the document. So obviously name it something logical that you want to want to call it, so you know, you know what what one you're working on. So we've opened up the document, and then to reduce the file size so that you can actually email it out to um, somebody, you click on File, down to Export, and then you've got the options there. Obviously the the name of the name of the actual file tags that it's related to if you want if they've been put in there where it's located you've got the format which is obviously PDF and then you've got the quartz filter and on that one it says none all you do is you click on that drop down and you just reduce go down to the reduce file size click save and it'll prompt you do you want to replace the document in question which you click yes or save and then it will then go away and it will obviously reduce the file size um, and that's the reason why we made a duplicate because if we were working off the original it would then erase the original data's resolution and you, you know to retrieve that back would be actually a little bit difficult but easier options is just to I always work off the off a copy just in case so that I if I do uh, make a mistake I, I've still got that option of it and there's no dramas with it once it's uh, replaced it if I um, close down preview and then just highlight the uh, thumbnail in question um, and I just press Command I. As you can see, the the file is significantly reduced, um, so it's easy for you then to email that um, file over to it. 
Okay, we're moving on to another part of the screencast. And from here, um, I'm going to show you another option that you can do, and you can actually download um, some some files that will allow you to create the PDF in different um, resolution DPI formats. So the first thing is I've got the two files in question. So if I just press Command I from the previous screencast, and you can see that both files are in there. And one's obviously a high a uh, very big file, one is obviously a small one. And I'm opening up the uh, the large one that was scanned earlier, and as you can see, it's very easy to read, and you'd be able to print that one. Let's open up the small one, and as you can see, the resolution is massively reduced. And though that's okay, and you can read it, it might be a bit annoying for some people. And I know for a fact that if you press print, um, it will be a little bit difficult to read that, because uh, I have sent stuff to people, and then they've gone, that's a bit uh, difficult to read. So what we do then uh, to get around this is there's a, there's a help, doc, help document on the Apple website, which I will go to now, and I'll put, post that in the links below. And it's, there's a little help file there with a, an option to link to a download folder. Uh, so we, we download that. It's linked to uh, Dropbox, so it's, it, as of when I recorded this, it was still available, those files, and it creates these filters. So... As you can see there, I've downloaded the filters and they're in my downloads folder. So there's the filters. So I've got the uh, filters and as you can see, they're all there. Open up Macintosh HD, library, and then PDF services is what you need. Double click that. And inside PDF services, you want to copy these filters or move these filters across. So as I drag them across, it's going to ask me to authenticate, and you'll need the admin password for that machine. Obviously, I'm just using the Mac user account there. And then um, it moves the data files into it. So I'll close those two down, so that's all done. So I'm going to go back to the original document that I created. I'm going to duplicate that document again. And this document, I'm just going to rename it. Uh, I'm actually renaming it something logical, so it's going to be uh, the name of the file. I'm actually going to give you the resolution of what it is, so I think it's 300 dpi for this particular one. And then if I do command R, you can see that it is a duplicate, so it's identical, and you can see the file size there. So there we've got our three PDFs. So the original one, the one that we used earlier in the other screencast, and the new one that I've just created. So we do all we do is we open it up in preview, go back to export. And then when you go down to the uh, quartz filter, you've got these extra filters now available for you. And all you do is select the particular one that you want, click save, it will obviously prompt you, click replace, because you're replacing the file uh, that you've actually opened. Once that's done, you close it down, and if I just press Command I, you can see that it's significantly reduced, so it's, it's 6.5 meg. I go and open it, and as you can see, um, it's very readable. I can understand that, and I can. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any data degradation. And when I open up the original, which is obviously a very, very large file, you can see that there's very little difference in notice between the two. If I printed both off, it would be quite difficult to see a difference between the two. So what I'll do now, just highlight all three and press Command I. And there we have it. So we've got the original one that I scanned in the earlier screencast, the one that I opened with the default settings that were in uh, on the Mac in preview, and use the quartz filter um, to reduce it, which obviously was the one that's got a bit of data degradation on it. And then the other one where I used these filters that I downloaded from a help desk uh, support page from Apple. Uh, and that's it. So you've, you've got that option. So um, that's pretty much the end of this screencast. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope there's some beneficial uh, information there for you. And to be honest with you, the filters do work. I've, I've used them a number of times, and they seem to be pretty pretty good in preview to actually reduce the size of a PDF. I mean, you could use other programs if you wanted to, other, other third-party programs you want to download. It's entirely up to you. But I um, hope you enjoyed that uh, screencast. Um, don't forget to uh, check back later for some more updates here at Mac User. Uh, and don't forget, I uh, hope you have a great day. So uh, take care and uh, see you later.